hi everyone so now we are writing our first program in php and this is super easy for that we have to create a file with dot php extension and where you have to create this file i'll let you know after that open this file in any code editor like uh, notepad plus plus vs code sublime you can use any code editor all right and once you will open this file you have to make php tag write some code and then you can check the output over the browser that's all and for bonus we will just discuss one interview question also but this question is really important all right so what you need to do first we have to create a file so let's go for it so i'm just going to the finder applications there right then xamp and see i'm using their mac operating system but i already told you how you can install the xamp over the uh, windows operating system also all right so if you are using windows operating system then go to the your c drive then go to the xamp and find the stdocs folder there this one right and you can create new folder for you right so i'm creating their uh, let's say tutorials all right then simply you can go to the any code editor i'm using their vs code all right and inside this folder inside this tutorial folder let's open it once opening folder then uh, again you have to go to the your uh, uh, xamp xamp file st docs and tutorials folder right there open it and then let's create one file also you can use any uh, name to this file but extension should be the php otherwise your code will not gonna work so i'm writing there hello world dot php right two thing you have to keep in mind whenever you are writing any php program first thing file extension should be dot php and you have to write the php code inside the php tags and what are the php tags so these tag will uh, let you know the system like uh, we are writing the php code all right so what you need to do just put the angular brackets question marks and php that's all right so php tags are ready and now you have to write the code i'm just writing one line of code echo and i'm just putting it anything inside the double or single quotes and at last we have to uh, use the semicolon also keep in mind otherwise there should be any uh, error so i'm writing there hello php saving it and now you have to run this on the uh, this file to the browser but before that you have to check your uh, xamp server is running or not so i am just searching there manage o sx and if you are using windows os then uh, you can just simply search for xamp right and go to the manage service there you can see that uh, apache server is running and that's all we have to just check the apache we don't care about mysql and other thing for a moment once we will uh, we need them then we will just check right so just now to go to the local host like this and put the tutorials and if you will not put their file name then this will automatically display to the uh, your folder like see we created this file and once i will just click over this file here you can see the output right so let me just uh, write something else i'm putting there 10 plus 10 there and again the output will be 20 you can ask one thing there so why i should write this so if i will just simply put there if i delete there and put there hello world or hello php will it not display it will display but this is this is outside that uh, tag right php tag so if you will just put there 8 plus 8 there or 10 plus 10 there it will not give you the output it will just simply print this thing here you can see that all right so what do you need to do there you have to just add their php tag first and just write their echo put there a 10 into 10 anything any equation you can put there and uh, mathematical equation you can put there and here you can see the output this is how uh, this is working so keep in mind uh, it's not mandatory you can write only one echo you can just put the two echo also let's say putting there code 
step by step and saving it again opening it and here you can see the output yes there is a no line break that's a, a different thing you can use their css and html and how you how we can use this i'll let you know in the upcoming video but for now you can see that we can use the multiple echoes right and in this same file html tag will also run so if you will just outside this file if you will put any html uh, html tag let's say hello then this will uh, again work right there is no issue with this here you can see that but again it will not give the result uh calculative result here you can see that if you just 10 into 10 then it will just simply print this not give you the result right so understand how this echo will work and now uh, we just we can see there we just created one file we can check the output we can write the php, uh, PHP tags and all this is working fine so in upcoming part we will go with the how we can create the variables and all things right functions and all that's a different thing so one question uh, can be asked from this video in interview which is uh, uh, what is the use of echo so what you will say that so echo will actually provide or you can say that display the output over the browser that's all all right so i hope this video is actually helpful for you if you have any query question you can ask me in the comment box and this is my uh, paytm donation uh, number for paytm thank you everyone